Hello everyone, we're going to solve some logs and exponential equations, so you do need a calculator for these. Now, the first couple are similar to what we have done, where we just are going to equate the exponents. If they're both base 5, then what you can take from that is the exponents have to be the same. So to solve that equation, it's very easy, x equals 3. Now, the second one, you're like, well, 3 and 9 aren't the same, so what do you mean? Well, they're not, but 3 and 9 do share a base. They're both base 3. 9 is 3 squared. Now, you do need to be careful. If you rewrite this, exponents rules would tell you you would have to multiply those exponents together, so we're going to have to distribute. I'm going to say 3x plus 3 equals 2x plus 10. Collect all your x's on one side, so if you subtract 2x on both sides, now you have x plus 3 equals 10. And if you subtract 3 on both sides, you get x equals 7. <clears throat> it is a really good practice to check your answers. So I'm going to check a lot of these because it's very unintuitive sometimes. And it's important that you know how these numbers are coming out. 3 times 7 plus 3, okay, to uh, 9 to the power of 7 plus 5. Are these the same? Yep. So I know I did it right. Okay. Let's try <clears throat> some now where I have to actually rewrite these as a log. So the first one is an exponent. It's already isolated, so I'm just going to write this as a base 4 logarithm. And remember, it's 4 to the x equals 11. So you kind of go across and then come back. Now, that's something you can type in your calculator, but you need to know how to type it in your calculator, and it depends what calculator you have. If you have a fancy one like this, when you hit the math button, you should be able to scroll down and see the log base? I want the base 4 log of 11. You're like, well, 4 doesn't go into 11. You're right. That's going to be a decimal. It's 1.73. X equals 1.73. Now, if you don't have a fancier calculator, you need to learn the change of base formula. And every calculator has a log and a natural log button. The change of base formula says if you take the log of the argument and divide by the log of the base, you will get the same answer. The log of the argument, 11, divided by the log of the base, you will get the same thing. And the cool thing is, it doesn't matter which of these bases you use, you can use the log or the natural log, you're going to get the same answer. The log of the argument over the log of the base, we get the same thing. Okay, it doesn't matter how you're using it, you just need to know your tool. Whatever calculator you're using, you need to be able to do this. Now the second one is not isolated, so we'll first subtract 3. 10 to the x minus 2 equals 9. And now I can rewrite it as a base 10 logarithm. It's a base 10 exponent. So base 10, that's the common log, so we don't write that. But 10 to the x minus 2 equals 9. So we have the log of 9 on the left. To get x by itself, you add 2. And now it's 2. Well, actually, I'm going to write it like this. The log of 9 plus 2 equals x. This is not the log of 11. So it's a good idea to put parentheses there. These are not like terms. The log of 9 plus 2 is not the same as the log of 11. And the log of 11 is wrong. So the log of 9 plus 2 is 2.95. x equals 2.95. Now I'm going to check this one. 3 plus 10 to the power of that number minus 2. When I plug this in, I should get 12. Like, oh, 11.9? Yeah, there's still, the calculator is still rounding a little bit because this does go for a while. Okay, so it's, that's 12. Do another one. Isolate the exponent. 2 to the x plus 1 equals 16. Now it's a base 2 exponent, so write a base 2 log. 2 to the x plus 1 equals 16. Wait a minute. I know that. That's what we just did. 2 to the 4th is 16. So when I subtract 1 on both sides, I get but you can type it in your calculator if you want. If you do the base 2 log of 16 and you subtract 1, you get 3. Cool. All right, so I'm going to do the practice problems. My suggestion is pause it right now. You try and work them out and then hit resume. So we're back. <laughs> These are both base 2 if you rewrite 8 as 2 cubed. And now I'll say x minus 3 equals 3x minus uh, 6 times 3 is 18. Get all your x's on one side. Negative 3 equals 2x minus 18. 
Add 18 to both sides, 15 equals 2x, and then when you divide by 2, that's 7.5. So x equals 7.5. 7 to the x plus 1 equals 7 squared, 2x minus 2. So now I'll say x plus 1 equals, when I distribute, I get 4x minus 4. Uh, subtract x, so 3x minus 4. Add 4, divide by 3. Okay, I'm not spending a ton of time solving linear equations. You guys should be pros at this. This one's a little trickier because 8 does not exponentiate into 32. 8 exponentiate. 2 to the 3rd is 8. And 2 to the 5th is 32. So now I can set the exponents equal. 6x minus 6 equals 15x minus 5 times 5 is 25. Subtract 6x on both sides. 15 minus 6 is 9x. Add 25 to both sides. 25 minus 6 is 19. Ugh, gross. 19 over 9. 19 over 9. 2.1 repeating. Check that one. I don't feel great about this one. That's gross. But we'll check it. 8 to the power of 2 times 2.1 minus 2. 32 to the power of 3 times 2 point, oop, I didn't put times, 3 times 2.1 minus 5. Hey, we got it. It's gross, but we got it right. Okay, now, these are the ones we got to rewrite them as logs, so these are a little trickier. First, isolate the exponential. 8 minus 1 is 6. Then you can rewrite it as a logarithm. If it's a base 5 exponent, it's a base 5 log. 5 to the x minus 1 equals 6. And you just have to realize that is a number. Okay, 5 to the first is 5, so this is going to be a little bit bigger than 1. But I'll type it in. Well, i got to add 1 as well. Let's do that right here. Add 1 to both sides. So this is the base 5 log of 6 plus 1. And again, that 6 is in parentheses. Don't combine those like terms. So math base 5 log of 6 plus 1, 2.11. x equals 2.11. Subtract 8 on both sides. 2 to the x plus 1 equals 32. Now, you could rewrite this. These are both powers of 2. But I'm going to work it out using logs just because I want to practice doing that. The base 2 log... So 2 to the x plus 1 equals 32. And you're like, oh, yeah, I know that one. 2, 4, 8, 16. That's 5. So 5 equals x plus 1. x equals 4. That's a nice one. One more. 3 to the 2x plus 4. 25 minus 5 is 20. So now I'm taking the base 3 log. 3 to the 2x plus 4 equals 20. 3 to the 2x plus 4. So... Let's see, that's going to be between 2 and 3, because nine because 20 is between 9 and 27. But i got to do a lot more work here. Base 3 log of 20, I'll do minus 4. And then divide the whole thing by 2. So we got to be careful typing this one in. Math. The base 3 log of 20, I'm going to do minus 4, and then I'll take the whole thing and divide by 2. So negative 0.64 x equals negative 0.64. I'm going to check that. And I'm actually going to show you, if you hit the store button, you can store your answer as a variable. And now I can just type it in with the a. 3 to the 2a plus 4. It keeps all the decimals. And then plus 5. I should get 25. I did. Awesome. So x equals negative 0.64. All right. Now we're going to go the other way. <clears throat> So this is an exponential, and I'm going to write it as a log. So the base of the log is 4, so 4 cubed equals 5x minus 1. 4 cubed is a number we know, 64. Add 1 to both sides, 65 equals 5x, and then divide both sides by 5. 5 goes into 50 10 times, and then I need 3 more, so 13. I'm going to check that one. So math. The base 4 log 
of 5 times 13 minus 1 is 3. Good. 2 to the negative first equals x. That's 1 half. 2 to the negative first is 1 over 2 to the first. It just means move to the wrong or the other side of the fraction board. Now, before you rewrite this one, you want to divide both sides by 3. So the natural log of x, I'll just leave that as 26 over 3. And now it's a natural log, so that's base e. e to the 26 over 3 equals x. That's pretty awful, but there is an e button on here. e to the power of 26 divided by 3. 5806.11. 5806.11. I'll check that one as well. Store as A, 3 natural log A. Is it 26? Yup, so I know I did it right. Okay, these usually feel more natural for people because we're better at going from logs to exponentials, but it is pretty much all the same steps, just backwards. Now, when you are rewriting these, you do need to be careful, and these are gonna to be tougher to solve. Anytime you see an x squared especially, you gotta be really careful. I'm gonna rewrite this as an exponent. And now I know that I have two different degrees, so I have to get everything on one side. Zero equals x squared minus x minus two. So we got a factor, because it's quadratic. So what multiplies to negative two and adds to negative one? That would be negative two x and positive one x. I factor by grouping x plus 1. There is no point in math ever again where you can say, I don't know how to factor and expect to be successful. So if this is something you don't remember how to do, you need to go review. There is no exception. You must be good at factoring. x equals negative 1, x equals 2. Now, these are called extraneous solutions because sometimes, since we solved the quadratic, we might have a solution that doesn't solve the original problem. So what I'm going to do is definitely check these. And we're going to make sure that we don't take the log of a negative. So math base 2, I'm going to plug this in very carefully. Negative 1 squared minus 1. Error. Doesn't work. Let's try the other one. Math base 2 log of, again, be very careful, 2 squared minus 2. That one works. So this one is a solution. We did get 1, so I know I did it right. This one does not work, and this is called an extraneous solution. It does not solve the original equation. And the reason why is because we tried to take the log of 0. Okay, when you did that 1 minus 1, you got 0. 2 to what power gives you 0? It doesn't. Remember, there's an asymptote. For logarithms, there's an asymptote right here on the y-axis and you cannot take the log of zero. So that is an extraneous solution. We'll try another one. 36 to the 1 half is x squared plus 5x. Hopefully you remember, that means take the square root. So now when you subtract six on both sides to set it equal to zero, we gotta find numbers that multiply to negative six and add to five. Uh, it'd be plus 6x minus 1x. Be careful, it's not 3 and 2. They have to have opposite signs. All right, so x minus 1, x plus 6 equals 0. So either x is 1 or x is negative 6. And I got a bad feeling about this one because I think I might end up with a negative. But I'm not positive about that, so we're going to check. Oh, I got to move so you can see. There we go. So let's plug them in. Math log base 36 of, I'm gonna plug in one. So one squared plus five times one. It didn't square it, but one squared is still one. It doesn't matter. 0.5, that's good. So this one works. Math, log base 36. <coughs> Jeez, okay. I think this actually is gonna be okay. Because 36 plus negative 30 is still a uh, positive number. Yep, it works. They both work. There are no extraneous solutions here. Because we didn't take the log of a negative. When you square that negative, it becomes positive. It was 36 minus 30, which is positive 6. We did take the, the log of positive 6, so that's okay. So these both work, but you need to check because sometimes they don't. All right, so let's do this last section now where we go... 
exponentiating. So 3 to the third is 12x minus x squared. 3 to the third is 27. And now i got to get everything on one side. So I will add x squared. I will subtract 12x, and I'll leave 27 alone. I'm moving things to this side. So now it's positive and negative. So what multiplies to 27 and adds to negative 12? This is a 1x squared, so I'm just going to be lazy and do it without splitting the middle. Okay, only because it's 1x squared can you do that. x equals 9 or x equals 3, or does it? Check it. Math. Base 3 log of 12 times 9 minus 9 squared. That one works. Do the same thing with 3. 12 times 3. 36 minus, I think it's going to work too. They both work. Okay, good. So these both work. No extraneous. Cool. X squared is 9. <clears throat> X is 3. Okay, you can just square root both sides. Now, it can't be negative 3. Normally, when we square root, we say plus or minus. But it can't be negative 3 because the base of a log cannot be negative. 2 cubed equals X squared minus 2X. 2 cubed is 8. Subtract 8 on both sides, so it equals 0. And then the numbers that multiply to negative 8 and add to negative 2 are negative 4 and positive 2. So either x is 4 or x is negative 2. But again, you better check these. There's a secret menu, depending on what your version of firmware you have. If you had alpha, ooh, look at that. There's a faster way to get there, maybe. Uh, x squared, so 4 squared minus 2 times 4. First one works. Now I'll do the same thing with negative 2. I'm going to have to type it in again. So there's my secret menu. 2. Negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2. Is this going to be okay? Yep, they both work. All right. Just be careful. They don't always. All right. 3 to the third is x minus 4. 3 to the third is 27. This one's easier. When you add 4 to both sides, you get 31. And it's such a good practice to just check them. I might as well. Base 3 log of 31 minus 4. Yep, that's 27. 3 to the third is 27, right? 2 to the sixth is x squared plus 12x. 2 to the sixth, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. 64 x squared plus 12x minus 64 on both sides. So what multiplies to negative 64 and adds to 12? I think that's 16 and negative 4. I got a bad feeling about this. But maybe it's okay. It might be. It's going to be okay. So alpha, boom, there you go. Base 2 log of negative 16 squared plus 12 times negative 16. I need a parentheses. There you go. 6, that one works. Base 2 log of 4 squared plus 12 times 4. Also works. All right, we didn't get any extraneous. Lucky us. 5 squared is x plus 16. 25 is x plus 16. Subtract 16 on both sides x equals 9. We might as well check it. Boom. The base 5 log of 9 plus 16 is 2 because 5 squared is 25. Yep. Okay. Good. So that's it for solving these equations. We're going to extend that a little bit more. So make sure you practice, make sure you hit that like, and make sure you smash that subscribe.